Oh, I think we're facing much spiritual crisis all around in our world today. I went through a very difficult teenage years to the point where I dropped out of high school. I got thrown in jail. My father, uh, he had multiple affairs. Uh, he has at least 15 other kids that we know of. The ultrasound progressed for a while. The doctor didn't say anything. And he said, you were having twins, but one of your twins has died. It's no secret that there's a lot of problems out there. The pressure on the family is really tremendous. These are truly kind of life and death issues. Abortion, what is marriage? Does God exist? Why am I here? America's confused. Confused in terms of their identity, their role in the world. What's the role of a father? What's the role of a mother? It's getting to something that we've lost in our times. We're busy. We're going to say that, well, I have a football game to go to. I have to watch several hours of TV and listen to talk radio. I have to get on my social media. The common thread is a concern for the state of humanity. What are we doing today? Are we responding? And how much time do we have? There comes a point in everyone's life where something happens to you where there are no answers. Seeing the power of the rosary happen in my life, and it was when my devotion to the Blessed Mother became real. The beauty of the rosary is that it offers us hope because it literally is the power of that prayer introducing us into a relationship to the great mystery of Christ in our lives. I think faith in Mary and the rosary is incredibly freeing. I think it gives me a greater freedom to express who I really am. I don't know of a time in our history where we have needed the rosary more than right now.